All right guys, what is up? Thanks for being here today. Today I wanna to talk to you about how to be confident in your next interview. Now, I don't know about you, but I know that when I go into an interview, it can be really nerve wracking, and especially if it's a job that you are, uh, that you're really uh, trying to go after. So, you know, to hide those nerves and to look like you're coming across uh, confidently is really important. So, in this video, I wanna talk about three things you can do to be more confident and land that awesome job. Number one, mindset. We often go into an interview thinking about the question, am I gonna be good enough for them? And I think it's important to flip the script and flip the mindset a little bit when you're going into an interview and thinking, are they gonna be a good enough fit for me. Now, this may be your only job offer. It might be a company that you're really excited about, but if you have the mindset, are they gonna be a good enough for me? It kind of makes it a little bit easier uh, going into it, right? Because truly, it's just as important for you to be looking at every aspect of that company and judging if it's gonna be a good fit for you as it is for them to be judging you. Number two, preparation. There's two types of preparation. One is company research, and the second is practicing the interview questions. I like to spend at least 20 or so hours going into an interview in my preparation. Uh, and for the first type of preparation on the company research side of things, I wanna dig into absolutely every aspect of this company, right? I wanna know, for, at least from an outsider perspective, I wanna know, um, what are the opinions of the CEO? What are the core values of the company? What are the leadership principles? Have there been any uh, interesting articles, either positive or negative, uh, in the past 12 months uh, or 24 months about this company? Anything I can get my hands on, I will find and I will basically try to form an opinion about this company, right? Oftentimes, we'll think about a dream company that we have, right, in our minds, right? If you wanna work for Google or Amazon or something like that, you have this in your mind, this ideal, and when you really start digging into the details, you find some of the really interesting things that are, you know, big challenges that a company might have, and if you are equipped with that frame of mind going in, it really helps you uh, gain confidence in your interview. All of these things are really important, right? Because if you get hit with the question, you know, why do you want to work here? You can have a lot of conviction as to really, uh, you know, delivering the why of why you want to be there. The second type of preparation is practicing the interview questions. Now, this seems like a no-brainer, but it's surprising how few people put a lot of time and effort into crafting the right responses. You wanna have a handful of stories that are prepared to illustrate why you're an awesome fit for the job, but if you've done the uh, preparation of the interview questions second to researching the company and the core values, you can weave your narrative uh, for the stories and practice uh, the narrative of your, of your answers uh, in relation to the core values of the company and the things that you've done in the past. Many of the interview questions that you're gonna have are behavioral, and these are the types of questions like, tell me about a time when you faced a difficult situation, tell me a, uh, about a time when you were a leader, things like that. You can research on Google all the behavioral questions that are out there. There's tons of them. Uh, and at each specific company, many of the large organizations for people that have um, interviewed in the past have leaked many of the questions online. So you can practice those types of questions. Uh, now, it, there's no guarantee that you'll be asked those exact questions, but at least uh, you'll know uh, the general sense of, of what types of questions are being asked uh, at those particular organizations. Number three, body language. It's really important to maintain eye contact with the interviewer. It's also important to not wrap your hand around the back of your neck. It shows a sign of weakness, right? You want to also keep your shoulders back, um, have your back arched, don't be slumped over uh, at, the interviewer, uh, at the interview table. Okay guys, that is all I have for you today. 
The last thing I'll leave you with is remember to smile. Smiling goes a long way. Uh, it's easy to forget when you're nervous to smile. Have a great time in the interview and keep in mind that you're scrutinizing them just as much as they are scrutinizing you. So wishing you the best of luck in your interview. And uh, my name is John Marty, helping you pursue professional and personal success so you can live a life you truly enjoy. Hit the like button below, hit that subscribe button, and share that video uh, if you know someone that's going through an interview. I'll be answer, happy to, happy, I can't talk. Happy to answer any questions that you may have down below about confidence in an interview. Uh, and that's it, thanks a lot.